for my next bite, I'll take some of this bread, break off a piece of the kebab, and then I'm gonna add in some of these onions and sumac. This is one of those pieces of meat that deserves a moment of silence. Good morning, everyone. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Istanbul, Turkey. Good morning, Ying. Good morning. It is a beautiful day outside. The buses are running. The streets are not deserted. It is still pretty quiet, but it is a completely different scenario from 24 hours ago. So we're gonna make a move and go have breakfast. Is it Uber? Yeah. Okay, thank you. And we are on our way to Besiktas to a breakfast restaurant. Oh, is it okay? Is it okay? Okay. That was just a very short ride, about five minutes, and we got dropped off in Besiktas. This is an amazing little neighborhood area with narrow lanes, lots and lots of restaurants and cafes. And we were here the other day in the evening and it was busy and packed. This morning it is quiet and peaceful. I'm so glad we decided to come out for breakfast today. I did not want to leave Istanbul without having another Turkish breakfast. And today is our last full day here. Tomorrow we leave in the middle of the day. I want to give a shout out to Tuba from both foodiehub.tv and also istanbulfood.com. Uh, she recommended this place for breakfast. So I'm really glad that we had a chance to come here and that they are open this morning. And I just ordered another Turkish breakfast. Breakfast. Okay, thank you. Whoa, that's a huge dog. <laughs> the other day, when I had Turkish breakfast, I ordered the meneme, which is the scrambled eggs. But today I went for more of the fried egg version, and I saw braised beef on the menu, and I couldn't resist. It came to our table and it was just sizzling away. You could see the butter and the fat boiling and, and bubbling over, and the whole egg was kind of like pulsating, and, and it almost looked like a heartbeat. And then there's some braised beef on top, and then there's a sprinkle of, I think, chili flakes and maybe za'atar or some kind of herb sprinkled on top. And that looks like a wonderful egg dish. Break off a piece, and I want to dig right into the middle where that, where all that spice is. Oh, yes. Oh, and I love how the egg is just cooked, like halfway cooked, so it remains raw and almost like gravy-ish. Okay beef. Oh, look at that wonderfulness. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's good. I think there's some cheese in there. Is there cheese in there too? That's like melty eggs. Like, like half liquid and half cooked. And then it's salty. The beef is really tender. And you've got that hint of like a, an herb, I think thyme flavor. I think I may have been mistaken on my first bite. I don't think there's actually cheese in there, but I think that cheese flavor might almost come from the yolk and the butter. That is so wonderfully good mixed within this egg dish. One more bite before I proceed onwards. That is a, a hearty egg dish. And this is another very common thing that you'll find for Turkish breakfast. It is clotted cream with honey on top. And so you kind of get a combination of both. Wow. Yeah. That is quite a contrast from the salty eggs, but that sweet honey and then just that really, it's almost like whipped cream, but just condensed into a buttery consistency. This one is the white cheese. And I think I'll eat that with an olive. Mm. Just a, a sensational trio. Cat? Is that a cat? That yeah. Just, that just licked my leg? <laughs> Where did it go? As I was taking that sip of tea, a cat just came up and licked my jeans, I think. <laughs> and then it disappeared. We have a 
a slice of tomato. Oh, and I think there's a little bit of olive oil down here. Mm. Tomatoes are so good in Turkey. I'm gonna add this chili to the eggs. Add in there, break off a nice piece of bread, and I'm gonna make this bite count. I'm gonna make it a, a nice big bite. Oh, this egg dish is just impressively good though. Oh, look at that. Okay, there's, there's like half an egg yolk in here, chili, and braised beef. One more thing to add to this bite before I take it. Gotta hit that with some pepper. Oh yes. And I may as well pepper my whole eggs while I'm at it. That is amazing. That was another amazing Turkish breakfast. And this is the type of ambience and the type of place that you just want to, you don't even want to move after you eat. You just want to sit here and relax and enjoy the ambience, the, the street, the, the other cafes around. This is an awesome, awesome place. Beşiktaş is such a cool neighborhood. I'm loving just walking around the, the narrow streets. There are so many restaurants and cafes. There are markets, there's street food. Great places to just sit and hang out or to people watch. I have one to you, Okay. Thank you. We're on our way walking to the Bosphorus and we're gonna take the boat, but I decided to get a quick Simit. This is something that you will see everywhere walking around Istanbul. This is one of the most popular snacks on the go or light meals. It's available throughout the day. It's kind of similar in appearance to a bagel. It is a circular shaped piece of bread and this one is topped with sesame seeds and yeah literally everywhere you go in Istanbul you will see carts set up selling simit. just plain but the the what I like about it is the sesame seeds the sesame seeds give it that extra flavor and touch the texture is a little bit chewy and a little bit dry oh, we made it to Besiktas Pier and we're gonna take the boat across the Bosphorus to the Asian side of Istanbul today Istanbul is the only city in the world that is divided between two continents or can I say straddled between two continents with the Bosphorus Strait and so we've been on the European side for our entire trip so far and yesterday I had planned to go and spend the entire day on the Asian side of Istanbul when things didn't turn out quite so planned but that is okay this morning we are on the boat now and we are heading to Asia across the Bosphorus Strait we're on a boat that's going to take us to Kadikoy Welcome to the Asian side of Istanbul and we are gonna walk around this area. It was exactly one week ago today that we were in Mumbai and we took that ferry to the island. This was a completely different ferry experience from in India. Both amazing. I will link that video below if you haven't already seen it. Ah. This is a very nice and very peaceful neighborhood. We are now walking down the street and on our way to Kadikai Market. Oh. 
Oh, Ying, this is what I want to eat, this fish here. We made it to Kadikai Market and we are in the fresh market section. It's a little bit quiet today because it's Sunday and I read that some shops don't open, but it's still a wonderful market, an open air market, lots and lots of colorful vegetables and fruits. There are lots of olives and fish, the fresh fish. Oh, look at all this produce and these wonderful fruits. Look at all those cherries. And then if you walk a little bit up the hill a little bit, you come to lots and lots of clothes shops and cafes and restaurants. Restaurants. Can I have one kilo of cherries? <laughs> Thank you. Ying and I have been loving the cherries so far since being in Istanbul. And just the other day we bought a, a kilo of cherries which we finished. So we saw the cherries here and had to get another kilo of them. Look at these beauties. <laughs> Mm. They're so juicy and so plump. Hello. Thank you. So many different types of pickles in here and many different chili paste as well and olives. Pickle juice? Pickle, pickle juice, yes. Okay. Just one. I think just one. Yeah. What? Thank you. I saw this in a TV show about Istanbul drinking pickle juice and so I was just walking through this market. I saw this pickle shop. I came inside and asked him for some pickle juice and he just gave me a cup of pickle juice. Oh wow. Yeah, that is straight up pickle juice. That is sour and salty. Ooh, that will wake you up in the morning. I kind of like it. Ooh. Thank you. Don't let the color of this fool you. Although it looks like grapefruit juice, it is absolutely nothing like grapefruit juice. Well, oh, that's like, that tastes very like kind of cleansing and like energy filled though because you've got all those salts in there. The sourness. It's like a, a powerful concentrated energy drink. Oh, I think I got my sodiums in for the day just from that one cup of pickle juice. But I won't deny, I enjoyed that. Black salmon, grill, filet mesquite fried, sardine, grill, scorpion fried, redfish fried, horse mackerel fried, Uh, hamsi, hamsi grilled. grilled okay. Hamsi grilled and also the okay, okay. Ying Ying like up. We walked through the market that was very enjoyable and then we came across the street to a different neighborhood and we are now sitting down at a restaurant called Balikchi Lokantasi. And this res restaurant specializes in seafood. After walking through the market and seeing that selection of seafood, I wanted to eat seafood so badly, so we're at the restaurant now and I ordered some anchovies. To begin with, have this beautiful plate of salad. There is parsley on here, there's lettuce, there's cucumbers and carrots and tomatoes, and I'm gonna squeeze on the lemon. So let me start with a bite of the salad. There's arugula down there too. Oh, that's nice. I absolutely love the rocket or the arugula. It just, it gives salad an extra flavor that is so good. Wow, that smells incredibly good. This is a dish that I really wanted to try at this restaurant. There are cubes of fish and it came in this I think it's a clay, a clay little vessel came just bubbling over. The aroma of this is incredible. You can smell all those onions. You can smell like an herb, maybe some thyme in there. And there are tomatoes in here, there's chilies. Oh wow, this is just amazingly, amazingly smelling. Oh, there's even some mushrooms in here. Okay, I'm just gonna take a straight up bite first. Mm-hmm. That is really hot. 
and incredibly good. That's almost like lava down there, but that is, wow, that's unbelievable. Oh, that's so good. It's salty. It's, I think that's all, is that all butter? Let me just see. I think that might all be oil or butter, but it just provides an immense amount of flavor. You can taste the, maybe a little bit of black pepper in there. You can taste the herb in there. The tomatoes, the caramelized onions. The onions are a little bit sweet. Wow, that is remarkable. I think it would be good with a little squeeze of lemon. And the fish itself is also really good. It's very soft, but not um, like starchy or mushy. That is superb. Get some bread. Go ahead and dip into that butter and the fish with that lemon. And those onions, those onions are insane. This is one of the best dishes so far I've had in Turkey. And also, the other dish that I was really looking forward to and I'm glad I have a chance to try it in Turkey is hamsi, which are anchovies. And I got the grilled version. Looks like they kind of butterfly cut the anchovies. And maybe there's a very light breading or batter on them before being fried or, or these are grilled, yeah. And then they sprinkled them with some chili and some, I think it's uh, an herb or maybe za'atar and I'm just gonna try one of these guys first. Put this down on my plate. Oh, yeah. Anchovies are a beautiful thing. Mmm. Has just a, a very faint bitter taste to it but then they're really soft, really tender. They have a little bit of a crispy exterior and then just a very light finish with that herb and chili. Anchovies are a wonderful thing from the sea. They also dished us this side plate and I think this is the, maybe this is roasted chilies and tomatoes, I'm not totally sure and then, I'm not sure what that is. I'll try this thing which I'm not sure of what it is first. Mm -hmm doesn't really have a smell at all. Oh, I think that's eggplant, roasted eggplant. And then this one, I have had it a number of times already so far being in Turkey, and it is marvelous. I think it is red chili. It's a little bit sour, and there's like a, I think it's a really nice parsley flavor. I'm honestly not sure if this is oil, like olive oil or butter, but it is so good. Now I'm just trying to fish out all of the rest of those herbs and onions and also the garlic in here. <laughs> That's so good. This was one of my favorite dishes so far this entire trip to Istanbul. Wow, that was good. I just paid and we were about to leave, but then they gave us a cup of tea and some dessert to try, so that is very kind of them. I don't know the name of this, but I think I've had versions of it. I think it, I think it's semolina and then served with bananas. Let me taste a bit of this with a banana. Oh. Yeah, I think that is semolina has a grainy texture, a little bit of a honey-like sweetness, and with that banana, it actually accompanies it very well. If you eat that together, it's almost like banana bread in a different shape. <sighs> oh yeah, always good to finish a meal with tea. That was an amazingly good meal. The staff and the owner and the waiters, they're all really nice at that restaurant, and it's in kind of a really quiet street very close to Kadiköy Market. I found that restaurant just by doing a quick four square search in this area and I, I wanted to find somewhere that served hamsi, which are those uh, anchovies. The anchovies were good, but that black sea salmon turned out to be the absolute winner, one of the best dishes, maybe the best dish I've had so far in Istanbul. That was amazing. Yeah, I guess we gotta go that way. We're getting back on the boat, heading back to the other side, back to Europe.
and I'm not really sure why, but both times we took the boat, it was free. There was no charge. I'm not sure if it's just today or if we got on the free boat. I don't know, but it was free both times. We decided to take a little stroll up the hill. We're now in the vicinity of the Galata Tower. We have come to the base of Istiklal Street and there's one thing we just gotta do. I'm gonna pass the camera to Ying and I'm gonna be the, the victim. You want vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla chocolate lemon special. Vanilla please. Vanilla please. <laughs> Hey! so fast, I don't even know what's happening. Yapıştı. <laughs> 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 I think I got it now. <laughs> I'm not totally sure, but I think I've got it. Even though you see the ice cream men dishing out the ice cream and playing with their customers, when you're actually the victim of it, you don't, you really don't even know what's happening. They're so fast and it's pretty awesome. It's such a sticky ice cream. I got a few licks of ice cream when he was dishing it out to me, but let me taste it really now. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's such a sticky ice cream. It's almost like it has some elasticity to it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's so sticky. It's like dough almost. Wow. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
where they have uh, it's right the, the grill is right in the center of the restaurant and then there's this like metal chimney which goes up through the roof and that is the centerpiece of the restaurant and that's where all the meat goes down that's where all the meat is grilled and that it's almost like a vacuum it just sucks up all the smoke and just it's incredible keeps the fire so stoked and so hot as it grills the meat we got a lamb kebab we got some chicken we're gonna get some lamb chops as well and then also he roasted some chilies and tomatoes look at that you can actually still see all of those spices mixed in there's maybe that's some parsley you can see the little chili flakes in there I have to begin with the kebab and I am just gonna go pure meat on this bite oh wow look at how tender that is oh it's so tender it actually just falls apart in your fork oh wow goodness that's absurd oh that is that is unbelievably flavorful oh it's salty you can taste the lamb flavor and the lamb fat oh and that that like extra smoky fire it just gives it like this incredible like depth of smoke embedded into the minced meat I have had kebabs before but I have never had a kebab like that. For my next bite, I'll take some of this bread and then break off a piece of the kebab. It's so tender and it definitely has a high fat content in there because it is so just packed with flavor and juicy. And then I'm gonna add in some of these onions and sumac. That is meat sensation. Next, I'm gonna try this eggplant salad. Roasted eggplant, I'll take some of that bread and just scoop, scoop a bit of this up. Mm. That is fantastic too. Extremely creamy. And I think there are some chilies in there too. I think that's, could that all be parsley and then tomatoes? Wow, this is beautiful. I think that's a balsamic and um, olive oil dressing, but really like densely flavorful. And then diced up tomatoes. And I think that's parsley. I'm gonna move a chili, one of these roasted chilies over to my plate. Oh, and also one of these scorched tomatoes. Open up this. I really love these fire roasted chilies and tomatoes. I just gotta have a piece of that chili. That fire roasted flavor. They're soft on the inside and have that skin, that like burnt skin. Oh, that's very like crackery. Mm. Yeah, that's like a, a very paper thin, almost cracker like crispy. And then I think it's topped with dry chili flakes or maybe a chili paste and some kind of herb, maybe either parsley or cilantro. This restaurant is known for their kebabs, but I think they are most well known for their lamb chops. So the lamb chops have arrived and these are fresh off the grill just moments ago. All these are, I can't wait, I can't wait. Oh yes. Oh, look at that. Get a close-up of this interior. Oh yeah. That is remarkable. Wow. That is impressively good. Oh, I don't even barely know how to describe it. It's, oh wow. You can taste the pastures. You can taste the pastures. Maybe with some onions on this next bite. Set this down. And I think that is a, a little layer of fat on the edge there. And I will. These are some, it's definitely expertly grilled and seasoned. But at the same time, this is some very good quality lamb.
Yeah. Wow. That is a a very a lamb chop that you'll never forget. <laughs> this is Ying's position. Oh, Ying Ying, pretty pretty style. Uh. Right, Mai? Ending our meal with some watermelon and maybe honeydew melon. Mm. Nothing like juicy sweet watermelon after such a, a meaty, salty, marvelous feast. That was not only one of the more incredible meat meals I've had, that was just an, an unbelievable meal experience. That food was so good, that kebab and those lamb chops, just mind-blowingly delicious. Special thank you to Ali who took care of us in that restaurant. That was fantastic. And also to Mr. David Dudi, Nama, and Hanuman. Thank you all for your recommendation. That was, that was just a, another just outrageously good meal in Istanbul. And actually today, we have had three back-to-back -back amazing meals. This has just been a fine, this is actually our final day. Tomorrow we are going to the airport and we are leaving Istanbul, so it is, it was just an absolute joyful last full day in Istanbul. And I'm gonna add Istanbul. <laughs> so many great people and so much good food in Istanbul. I'm gonna end the video for today right now. Thank you all for watching today's video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment below and make sure you subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. And thank you again for watching.